Hello everybody, I hope you are having a wonderful day. I am quite well and today I have something for you that I haven't had in quite a while. It's like a crafty, planner, fun, girly stuff haul. <laughs> so I've got some Daiso, some Target, and some Dollar Tree. So let's jump into these bags, shall we? We will start with, uh, let's start with Dollar Tree. So the first thing that I got was this cute little uh, flag. It says, welcome. And these come with a little um, rope on them with a plastic tube through them. I just cut that off and put it on the mini flag uh, stand thing that goes in the ground. And this one has little flowers on a butterfly. It says, welcome. How cute. Okay. And you guys know I am a sucker for these every time I find them. And I've used my last one, so I needed to get a new one so I could make a spring wreath. This is a necessity. So I got this. And then I got some green. Which I think I'm out of green. No, I still have green. I don't know why I got green. And some purple deco mesh. And that was everything from Dollar Tree because they didn't have any washi. So sad. So that's everything from Dollar Tree. Lots of crinkling. Da da da. Okay. Oh, and I've got some Fred Meyer and a gift from a friend. So hang on just one second and I'll be right back with all this stuff out of the bag. All right. So here is the one thing I bought in the Target dollar spot. Like, oh my gosh. I was looking around my craft room. I was like, I'm not using a lot of the stuff that I'm buying. So I'm just going to get these. Uh, these were a dollar. They are robo transfers. And they're little gold bunnies and tulips and dots. And then they have like, enjoy the little things. Spring is sprung, live, laugh, love. So I thought... Um, I could use those somewhere. Somewhere. I want to get back to crafting and I feel like I need new stuff to like inspire me. Um, and then I got these at my local Fred Meyer, which I've told you guys about before. And these are Wilton doilies and there are peach and mint in here. And then they were $1.57 and an additional 40% off for the little ones. So I'll show you the color in, these are just paper doilies, but I will show you the color. So there we go. It's so really spring, really pretty. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I couldn't pass them up because they're just so darn cheap. And look, the big ones were the same price. Like, come on. Little ones were $1.57. Minus 40%. And so were the big ones. There's 12 of, There's twelve in each one. So why not? Sorry about the glare. But I couldn't help myself. I needed to get them. Alright. And then this was a gift from a friend that went to Michael. Saw this and said that it reminded her of me. Which, how sweet is that? So this was a... El Tubo of Recollections Washi. And there is what it looks like in its entirety. And we'll go through this one roll at a time. So if you guys don't know this, Recollections Washi, uh, the non-foil rolls always have more product than the foil. So this is just a little uh, chevron -y pattern. like a show and a pretty like minty tealy spring color this one here just says a bunch of different things on this pretty blue and this tape is a little slicker than normal but it says dream bloom shine Let's see if I can ah foil So, there we go. Dream Blue Shine. It's always so much 
fun to show washi. And then this one is a really cute little pink one with foiling on it as well. And it has like this little detail of two-tone pink. And this one I think is like my crazy favorite out of the whole thing. <laughs> nah, mm, it's a close, like I can't make up my mind which one is actually my favorite, but this is a very, very, very pale. Do I not have any paper sitting here? Like seriously? <laughs> I don't. Because I fail. But um, it's a really, really light blue background with pink, blue, and yellow roses on it with little berries and leaves and yeah I don't know you know I saw somebody put it on paper um well I don't have paper but I have one of these sitting here <laughs> so what if we just do this we just do like Maybe we'll just do this. Maybe this will work a lot better. Do we have something else to cut this with? Because I hate, I hate just ripping it. Ah, oh, so much better. And then the first one I showed you. And then this one is a really, like, I don't know which one's more my favorite. I think it's just going to depend on the spread, but this is a little bit thicker. It's a minty background with the floral. And this one I think says, follow your bliss. This is follow your bliss. Who did I see do this? I think it was Beth. Beth Graves. I think she just did an AliExpress uh, washi haul and she did this. But you don't lose that much tape. So this one is foiled just ever so slightly. It's on a lavendery uh, gray background. I'm going to show up, uh, these up close at the end so you know what I'm talking about um, then the last one is this very large gold foiled chevron which how pretty Ooh, that one is like super sticky okay so that is all of the um, washi taped not this one but all of those you can catch the really pretty um, foiling so there's a lot of foiling in that tube and I very 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 much appreciate the person that gave me those thank you thank you thank you so let me shove these back in here because you guys do not understand that my craft room is torn apart right now because many things, but my craft room has the access to under our house, which is kind of weird, but my craft room was an addition um, later on after the house was built. So uh, <laughs> everything is insanely torn up. So yeah, that was from Michael's. And now we're going to dive into some Daiso. So let me grab a new something and I'll be right I back. I fibbed. So I got one more thing at Target. I found these scissors on clearance for $5.24. They are the EK Tools uh, Small Precision Scissors. They come with the cover and they are a 
comfort grip, non-stick blade, and they have a really sharp point. So I thought that was a really good deal. And they are non-stick, and they kind of smell like, um, what is that, sewing machine oil? Like that's what keeps them non-stick, but they're really, really nice. They have that really, really fine point, and trust me, I have stabbed myself with that. So you can see that little bit of reflection there. But yeah, these are definitely non-stick, and they do have the safety cover, so I really appreciate that. I have, you guys have always seen me use these Craft Smart scissors to cut stickers, but I'm going to move to these and use these for detail cutting paper or I don't know, but these were really cheap. These were a couple dollars more, and the stickers don't stick. I've already tested them. So if you see the EK Tools brand non-stick sticker, uh, stickers, non-stick bladed scissors, grab them because they're actually really good. I was really impressed. So that was the last thing from Target. I forgot they were sitting there because I was testing them. All right, so I have a few things here from El Daiso. I have some white paper now, yay. All right. Do we start? Where do we start? All right, so first up, I'm going to start with this. This is a zebra marker, and as you can see, it's made in Japan. I already opened the bottom. So the way I see this, it's supposed to be like a calligraphy type pen. So it's felt, and the nib on it is like super bendy really drives me crazy when I want it to autofocus it doesn't want to there we go so um, I'm gonna use this post-it because I don't want to write on the white paper I'm gonna use it for something else so let's see so it's wider so it's thin on the upstroke wider on the downstroke right is that how it goes I don't know so up, press down, up, press down, up, press down, up. I don't know. I'm going to play with it. I know there's like a really expensive version on Amazon, but, and it's actually a brush, but this one was $1.50. So I don't think that's too bad for, it's really liquidy. So I don't know. Did that even show you guys anything? There we go. I don't know. I'll play with it. I definitely want to play with it. So, yes. All right. Next, staying on the writing utensils, I got this uh, Daiso Mechanical Pencil Ballpoint Pen Set. They are the Crown Pen Pencil Doohickeys. I have ran out of things to write on. Um, hmm. I normally have post-its. Oh, I do have post-its. They're right here. I hid them. So here are some, just some Target one spot post-its. And this is the mechanical pencil. As you can see there, really, really cute. I like the feel of these. And here is the ballpoint pen. I don't know if these are for my planner, but I thought I could take them to work and use them. So those two together were $1.50. How cute are those freaking pens? Like, I don't know. I might just stick them in my cup holder and look at them because that is what I do. <laughs> All right. And this was the packaging it came in was this like gold foiled packaging. Let's set this over here. All right. So then I've seen her name. I don't know her actual name. Her channel name is Happy the Number Two Plan. And she uses Daiso adhesive. And I have almost ran out of double sticky tape. And this stuff that I got at Michael's is like super duper expensive. And as you can see, it's like almost gone. So I wanted to give this a try. And I didn't even know that they offered this until I saw her channel. How do I open it? Where is the opening doohickey? Right here. Yeah. That is some serious stick, y'all. 
All right, so this was the uh, approximately 49 feet of adhesive. Holy moly. Um, low VOC content in this tape. Uh, environmentally friendly? I don't know. I was looking for a size, but look at how much is on there. Like, holy moly. Yeah, and it's like... Yeah, that's some serious tapage but it comes on this little dispenser and you can just tear it off right there and it can you know sit on your desk real nice but yeah dollar fifty for wow I'm gonna have to go get the other sizes too I just don't get to dice so very often um actually I want to see how this kind of works so let's see let's take my non-stick adhesive scissors let's do that push that back down. All right. Like I said, I see happy to plan use this all the time. So let's say I want to glue said corner here. Hopefully I got the right stuff and I did. All right. That's awesome. So if I close that, I want to see what the, uh, dang, that is that is really good. If it gave it time to set up, it would definitely be down. All right, cool beans. Cool beans. So, $1.50 for this sticky tape, double sided tape, thin paper adhesive, acrylic motion release paper, paper packaging, paper cutter, stainless steel. There's no brand on it, but I'm about to go get some more. And they have foam tape too, so I'm going to go get that too. All right, staying in the crafting world, I got three washi tapes. Now, you guys, I have a serious problem with Daiso and their washi. All I want to do is buy it all, and they have an entire rack of it. These are $1.50 a piece, or you can get like double, triple, quadruple sets for $1.50, and I'm like, I need them all. Um, so I'm going to open these and be right back. All right, so I laid them out. I didn't realize this first one was slightly off, like cut. Maybe it'll get better through the roll, I hope. <laughs> Otherwise I can just trim it down on my paper trimmer. So here are the three rolls out of the plastic. So you have this pink with the floral and bows. This is like a cream colored background with fruit. And then this one is floral and clover, which I didn't even realize when I bought it. I just liked all the flowers. So there is the Florally, clovery, spring one, the fruit one, and then this one that has the bow. So really, really cute. Um, I love the quality of their masking tape is what they call it. So that was the last crafty item. So if you guys are done and you don't really care to see any more, go ahead and click out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. But if you want to see the last two things I got, stick around. Um, they're beauty related. One is this here, which is a Q10 facial mask. Contains vitamin C, E, and Q10. Hydrates and soothes to prevent aging skin for all skin types. This, I'm pretty sure, is a sheet. Yep, one sheet mask. So this is like super thick. Like I can feel all of the... Oh, it says that this is a cloth mask. Hmm. Um, open packet, unfold mask, press lightly with fingertips to set mask in place over face, leave mask on for 15 to 20 minutes, remove mask and gently massage, et massage excess fluid into skin, do not rinse off, discard mask sheet after use. And it says cruelty free. So yeah, I'm kind of interested to give that a go. And then the last thing that I got from Daiso is this, I've been looking for like some peel off formula mask and this is a deep cleansing peel off mask because I told you guys a few times that my skin has been very angry at me lately and this is a cucumber so it it is a deep cleansing and moisturizing cucumber extract mask and how this works is you thoroughly cleanse your face allow the skin to dry open the sachet and apply mask in a thin and even layer leave mask on for approximately 15 minutes till it's completely dry then slowly peel off never pull the mask 
starring, it's supposed to be starting from the bottom of your face. Rinse face with water to remove any residue. So that is like kind of gooshy in there, which is cool. So that was it, guys. Everything I got in my store hauls over the last month or two, I don't even know. So it's been that long. Like, I can't even, if that's out of focus, I am so sorry. Um, I can't even begin to tell you how long I've been sitting on this stuff. But I definitely want to get back into things. And you guys know, I say this in every video, I love filming for you guys. It's just with my life, it's a little difficult sometimes. And honestly, it is so easy to, re like, just be like, okay, I'll put up a planner video because that will take me... 20 30 minutes to film and then 10 minutes to edit and 10 minutes to voice over um or play music or whatnot and it just kind of uh becomes the easier thing to do when you have your craft room torn apart and yeah so I'm getting there. I'm hoping I will be able to put out that spring wreath tutorial soon. I have been gathering everything for that. And yeah, if you guys are looking forward to that, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want any uh, reviews on any of these, like uh, Daiso face masks or... Yeah, these would be the only thing I need to really review for you guys. Because you'll see me use the other stuff. If you want to see me use these and you want a beauty video on my channel... Let me know in the comments. I will certainly try them out for you and let you know what I think if you're curious about my opinion. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, morning or evening, whenever you are watching this. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Much love to all of you and bye for now.